In the locks and pools of Scotland dwells a spectral horse. This evil horse has magical powers that it uses to ensnare mortal men and women, and few who meet it and survive come out unscathed. Kelpies are aquatic mythical creatures. Their name means colt or young male horse. They are mystical horses that live within all the locks, pools and rivers of Scotland. Kelpies are considered so common in fact that almost every body of water within Scotland has a kelpie tail associated with it. The motive of these creatures differs depending on the tail, but usually the goal of a kelpie is companionship, murder or oftentimes both. The Kelpies themselves are white or black, and they always have a wet dripping mane, even when on land. They are powerful beasts, ten times stronger than regular horses, with the stamina of many more than that. When their tails enter water, they deliver a booming roar of thunder, and once submerged, they wail a dying wail to draw in prey. Physical contact with any part of them binds their flesh to the person touching meaning there is absolutely no escape from a kelpie once fallen into their trap. A kelpie can trick people to climb onto its back and attempt to ride it. It stands looking calm on a water's edge, usually appearing to those that are tired and in need of rest. It can show itself to the sick, the lame, or those simply seeking to cross through shallow water untarnished. Their prey sees a beautiful, abandoned horse, and they approach it hand outstretched to ride. With this, their doom is sealed. With its victim unable to detach from it, the Kelpie strides off quickly to deep water and submerges to drown anyone clasped to its back. Some tales tell of it eating its victims and spitting out their entrails onto the shore. Others simply regard that the poor souls are never seen again. A quite famous rendition tells of a group of young boys, sons of chieftains and kings, who all climbed aboard the back of a Kelpie at once. One boy managed to escape by cutting off his own fingers before being dragged to the depths. All he heard as the Kelpie disappeared was the joyous laughter of the other ignorant boys, still riding on its back. Kelpies are notable for having a number of diverse water-based magical powers. They can sometimes run on top of the water as they carry their victims, or they can raise floods and waves to wash people away to drown. Perhaps the most famed ability of theirs though is their aptitude for transformation. The Kelpie's ability to transform means that both their motives for companionship or murder can be easily achieved in the form of a human. For companionship specifically, the Kelpie can appear as a powerful lordly looking man, beautiful and gracious, only distinguishable by seaweed matted in his hair. The creature entices young women with majestic splendor to ensnare them to an unbreakable, often deadly affection. Pete Beresford Ellis, in his book on Celtic myths, goes into further detail with this. He talks about how the Kelpie purposefully sheds a tear and asks a young girl to wipe the tear away for him. The touching of the tear becomes a bond of love that entraps the girl. In Ellis's rendition, a Kelpie can only remain in human form until the setting of the sun as well, after which it must return to the water as a horse. Seeing the Kelpie in its horse form can free the victim from their bonds of attraction, meaning the Kelpie must continuously make sure that doesn't happen by leaving for the water before sunset. The power to transform has also led to other ways that the Kelpie can murder its prey. The creature can become a brutish hairy man that kills its victims by crushing them in a vice-like grip before taking them into the water. It can become a beautiful naked woman and trick lusting men into swimming with it only to drag them to their untimely end. Again, it can become a handsome and powerful young man, but this time for altogether more grisly reasons. Despite the many dangers of the Kelpies, there is in fact a way to take command of them. Taking possession of the bridle on a Kelpie's back gives the owner command of all Kelpies. The McGregor clan are still rumoured to own such a bridle to this day, taken from a beast long ago. The House of Murphy was said to have been built using an enslaved Kelpie, and indeed many other Scottish castles supposedly share a similar history in that regard. 
However, a warning comes to those who use a Kelpie in this manner, that the seat of the clan will be forever cursed. So where does the concept of the Kelpies come from? Like the Kalupalik, another beast talked about in this video series, it's easy to see how Kelpies exist as a cautionary tale for adventurous young children not to get too close to dangerous waters. They could also exist to warn young women about the advances of unknown and mischievous men, or indeed the advances of any unknown stranger feigning kindness. The Kelpies are still very much alive in the hearts and minds of Scottish people. This is in no small part thanks to the enormous monuments built for them back in 2013. Me and Stacona had the chance to go and visit them on the tail end of December last year. Pretty incredible. They are, honestly. I wonder how long it took them to build them. They're huge. So you've got like big frames inside as well. Yeah, yeah, they're they're some... just a shell. yeah, they're definitely, they've got something in them. You can tell how they put them together. Bit of sunset going on as well. I love that they look like they're coming out of the water. Yeah, yeah. How many stories high would you say these are? Like how many floors could you fit in a building? Like a horse shaped building. To close off today's video, here's a poem of warning by Belle Robertson that she wrote in her Scottish bestiary about the dangers of a Kelpie. If Kelpie gets you by its claw, light a torch, don't touch its fur, don't listen to its screeching cry, and never steer it in the eye. That's it, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting us here at Aspect History. Why do you think the Kelpie first came about? Let us know in the comments. If you're new to us, why not check out some of our other bestiary episodes, linked right here. I've been Circle Strafe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Toodles!